Hello Rebel and welcome back to my life. So, August is almost over, and now, I don't know if you remember, but I made a pretty big and important video right at the beginning of May. That was the Honest Conversation video. You might remember it, I kind of faced up to how I'd been letting myself and readers down for a while, and I resolved to get serious about fixing it and getting back into regular writing and publishing. Well, since that time, I've finished writing the book Hellskin, done several editing passes, and sent it off to my editor, and once that was done, I started working on something called the Addenda for the Tales of the Wanderer series. Now, long-term viewers will already know about this, but what I do with the Underrealm books is, with every new trilogy I complete, I produce a new book that combines those three volumes into one. And at the back of that volume, I add an extra few dozen pages that contains background, history, and extra details about the world of Underrealm. So like, for example, in the back of the Nightblade Epic Volume 1, the first trilogy of books in the Nightblade Epic, there's a brief summary of the story of the Nine Kingdoms and Roth, the first High King who created Underrealm in the first place. Then there's stories about the family Yaren throughout history, a little history about the Mage Auntie, and a breakdown of the Underrealm calendar and a timeline of events in the story so far. I it's nerd stuff. It's just 60 pages of nerd stuff because I'm a nerd. So with the completion of Hellskin, I've now completed the first trilogy in the Tales of the Wanderer series, which means it's time to put together another volume of the three books. And so I have been hard at work on the addenda for the volume. And by the time you watch this, they should be done. And the latest one should have gone out to my patrons just this morning. So today's video feels like a perfect opportunity to take a slightly deeper dive on the addenda. What are they? Why do I create them? What goes into the production of them? The first and most important reason why I create the addenda is because, like I said, I'm a huge freaking nerd. I love this stuff. If you're familiar with Tolkien, you know that the Lord of the Rings trilogy has a series of appendices at the back. It's the same idea. And Tolkien's appendices cover everything from the history of all the Gondorian kings that came before Aragorn, to a timeline of all the events in Middle-earth for literally thousands of years leading up to the events of the book, to a breakdown of how to write in the Elfish alphabet, which is the only reason I felt confident enough to get this tattooed on my body. Another reason the addenda are great is that it gives me a pressure valve to release some of my world-building craziness. Like a lot of fantasy authors, it's easy for me to get so off track in my world building that I forget to, you know, write the actual book. And so when I'm working on a book and I really want to develop a concept out more than I need to for the current project, I can just tell myself, hey, that'll just go in the addenda. Leave it for now. At the same time, whenever I'm working on the addenda for one series, I'm usually also planning the next series. And so working on the addenda gives me an opportunity to preload some world building in preparation for the next book. And this means that sometimes, though not always, there are Easter eggs in the addenda for the next series I work on. Are there Easter eggs in these addenda that I just released on Patreon? I don't know. You're just going to have to read them at patreon.com slash Garrett B. Robinson. Link in the description. Uh, by the way, there is one more major reason I can think of that you might want to go check out the addenda on my Patreon, and it's because that will allow you to see the new cover for The Tales of the Wanderer, Volume 1, which I'm repurposing for the ebook covers of the addenda. It's just... It's so cool, y'all. It's so cool. It is far and away my favorite Underarm cover to come out so far, and it's not even close. In the end, the addenda are my way of relating the books I've just written to the greater world of Underrealm as a whole. Because that is the point of all this. Not just to tell one story, not just to follow one or a few characters, but to create a whole world, a whole universe. Me personally? I like the idea of being able to take one person's story and relate it to the context of the broader world the narratives exist in. It is way too easy to feel purposeless. It's way too easy to forget the fact that our lives exist in a broader world, a broader tapestry, and that our actions affect not only ourselves, but people all around us, as well as the people who will be in this world long after we're gone. And that's not to say we're all epic heroes whose deeds will live on through the ages, but uh, we don't need to be. One thing I'm always trying to get across in Underrealm is that you don't need to be some incredible singular hero. You can still help people and leave the world better than you found it. And if we could only see the effects our actions have on others and how they reverberate through the years, we'd realize that we have a much bigger impact than we think we do. And that's all I've got for you today, Rebel. Like I said, my supporters on Patreon get not only the addenda, but every Underrealm book I write months before they're available for purchase. If you want to be one of those awesome and incredibly attractive individuals, click on the Patreon link in the description below. For just a buck a month, you can start reading Hellskin and the addenda for Tales of the Wanderer Volume 1 and see a brand new book cover. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. Bye!